Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm I'm sorry. It's this is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm going to go with you this time. Let's go. on exciting careers in biochemistry. <laughs> Nothing, just looking back at you gonna talk on how to survive the end of the world. <laughs> oh God, why are you laughing? <sighs> There were so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. Over here. Looks like the uh, centrifuge you've been looking for. Yep, this is it. Come on. Corpus Saint John. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle yeah. of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. 
Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No, no I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. That's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where Dude, I could check out. you can't get what I need there, you... <laughs> God, you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you gonna take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in the ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to see how he's done. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny 
About uniforms and ranks sitting pointless, I mean. Oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, man. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh... Goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up. And I had to. I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna let him down. So I, I didn't wanna go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive, and that that's that's when I really wanted to that's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. You trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? The Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? 
We ain't gonna run into him. You can help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is, uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. Infected. It's 
what's made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. What the hell happened here? I don't know. Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um... What'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you just said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. God damn it! Yeah. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. So why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent-a-cop Jim? <sighs> Jim who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up there? that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Open fire! Get down. Mother of the fuck! You were saying? Yeah. This world is top of anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Alert. Here, this is another floor. Do whatever. Oh, Let's try. Yeah. I'll send you a little clear. Warning, 
Deadly force is authorized. It's clear. Coming. Locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Warning. Sarah Deadly Irene Whitaker. Is Security for has been breached. All the Cloverdale facility is Deadly in lockdown. Is Repeat. Authorized. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the Alert. fuck up already. Alert. They must not have locked out under security. Police you ready? Are on their way. Yeah, this time? Let me and go you in will first. Not be harmed. Hey, this time, we go in together. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Alert. Alert. Shit. This is a level apparently. four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Get in there. There's more of them! Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. One more time. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Alert. Alert. <laughs> well, ready? Police are yeah. on their way. Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. <sighs> That's Alert. Sure it's clear. Alert. This yeah, is a I'm level dead. four alarm. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Here. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Same here. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Okay, it's clear. And They're waiting for us in the entrance. Come on, let's try the door. Alert. Sarah Irene Alert. Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security Multiple override and disable the fired. fucking voice response. Security personnel to the Access denied. Building. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Oh, fucking Alert. bitch! Deadly force hey, hey, for going in that way would have been a death trap trespasses. anyway. Had we gone on the Warning. other side of Deadly that door is aimed is right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah, you got one? Well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Alert. Over Alert. Here. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand up. There's a ledge out here. You, you should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? 
Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing Alert. fire, keep their attention. Alert. When they're all this looking up, I'm gonna go in from alarm. here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, Security that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Oh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Put your hand on that reader. Alert. Alert. Wait, what are you doing? 911 has yes, I'm in. Okay, Police they locked out security, but they forgot the Stand admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? This is a level uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna need you to help me out. Okay, hold on. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. Alert. Alert. Wait Nine until I get their attention, then you called. go in. Police are on their hey, way. Don't take Stand any chances. Down and you will not be harmed. Are you kidding me? Okay. Go. Hey, how's it going? Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Security personnel to the maintenance building. I know you're in there. Thank you. Answer me, God. Deacon Lee, St. John. ID 54290. Said hands. Uh, all right, all right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean. We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know the ones you shot in the head. I don't know what you're talking. About. <laughs> What was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. 
Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. I've seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grapefruit here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone then he didn't listen he hacked the system he got behind the firewall he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something I don't classified know. project just he slow wanted, down and... he wanted to be the next Edward Snowden you see he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing David Gorman he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here well, I don't understand what do you mean I pieced it together myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David but he was already gone He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Hey, uh, hold on for a second. What's up? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. You little bastards. The 
this will work. Now I just gotta jimmy that door. Got it. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron my to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was me, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Deke! When are you bringing her back, what, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Deke? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a... I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here... It, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work. Uh, by Iron Butte, he's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Uh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what, listen, I gotta go, Ricky. But, you know what, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um... It's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and... ...that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But, it's worth a try, so, uh... Let's get moving.
It's clear. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell, huh? Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? What's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? In 
the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks. Perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over? will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. <gasps> hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. Doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. <laughs> Corporal, the colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah, copy that. St. John out. St. John, 
I need to see you. I'll be at the Diamond Lake Outpost. Copy that. I'll be there as soon as I can. Cope, maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. Corporal St. John, report to me in command. Colonel Garrett, yes, sir. I'll be right there. Corporal St. John out. Take a closer look. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? There you are.
Okay, here we go. I gotta find a way inside. Taylor. It's Deacon St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? That fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to. Hey, listen to me, <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. You kick and you kick Wait. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. But they're laughing at you. I don't want to. I don't want to. Please. Don't let them hang me. Thank <laughs> you. 
St. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not gonna be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time... Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Corporal Deacon St. John. Sergeant, how's it going? Hey, don't be that way. Corporal St. John. I'll see you around, Deke. yeah? Corporal. Hey. Hey, Sergeant. Corporal St. John. Uh, Deke. See you around. Deke. Corporal in command. Sarge, good to see you. Oh, you've got a few. Good. Yeah, see you, Sarge. You take care of yourself. Colonel, you asked to see me? Corporal. Yes, yes I did. Captain Curry says that you've been helpful dealing with marauders in the area. Just doing my duty, sir. A curious group of drifters have been spotted moving down Highway 97. Evidently they came over the Tielson Pass, which I thought to be impassable. Our patrol reported that they were scarred. The letters R.I.P. carved into their foreheads. Have you ever heard of anything like this? No, sir. Sounds like... sounds like another cult, like uh, the anarchists. Perhaps. Regardless, I want you to track them down and deal with them. We have enough to deal with. I don't need another cult springing up in our backyard. No, sir. Last thing we need is another crazy cult. I've marked their last known position on your map. Dismissed, Corporal. sound kind of cheerful. I've had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequence, sir. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow. Okay. Um, 
What do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Like the fire. Feels like home. Yeah. I had a wood stove growing up. Hated the flames. Wait, hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Deacon, come in. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a newt. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kid. News. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of Newt's? Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Corey out. Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sarah, I'm here. All right. You're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. <laughs> Blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the Okay. Uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know. Just... Just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. Got you, you little shit! Oh, Jesus! You wanted a live one? You get a live one.
Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. No, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. Right. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. What you put in that. That shit went down fast. Damn it! But you're, you're you're not making a bioweapon. You're. Oh my god! Are you are you, are you trying to cure it? I thought once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus, and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's going to be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one, and that was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky, and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back. Because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight in a war, and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well. 
Not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. North. Yeah, we're riding north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know, if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need. I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. <laughs> Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. How you talking, man? Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I think should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... All right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> I've got more Molotovs. Ammo in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. Let's see. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. Those sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them... You'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, uh, a few times. No more a horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Oh, I just got nothing to do with it. All right. 
I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. Captain! Looks like you got about a quarter of them. Keep it up! I'm trying! St. John, it looks like you're down to about half of them. Keep going! I'm on it. Here goes nothing! Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John, reporting in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you? Captain, uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker, and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out. Hmm. Huh. That's interesting.
We did it. You did it. Uh, we did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, the way you were one step ahead of them? Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the Colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. How'd it go? Well, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell yeah, it worked. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit them up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The officer's mess. <laughs> All right. Looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna catch up with you. I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are... irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's... Been, uh... Walk with me, son. Please. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. Ease, Captain. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you Lieutenant. You can't! Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. 
Ma'am, I got the uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. St. John. This Captain Curry, come in. I'm here, Captain. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh, any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. No, sir. Your name is... St. John. Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John. Come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. Hey, sir. You there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. You gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry, yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes, it grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Mark. Sir, I was... You know, when I was young, we used to explore caves like these, looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes, thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens, in the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was... The soldier who used uh, to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. Sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. You gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your... I gotta need some shotgun ammo. Burn up the nests. A short while ago, I stood here before you and grieved for the loss of Captain Jimenez, our only doctor. 
and my very dear friend. And for what great purpose did Captain Jimenez perish? So that a drug addict, a worthless excuse of a human being, could get high. Jimenez died because he stood between a junkie and a bag full of narcotics. Yeah. Yeah. I have taken steps to see that this never happens again. For their own safety, I have moved Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver into the Ark, where they will be under protective watch 24 hours a day. The call is going out. Any person who has highly trained knowledge and skills, skills that cannot be replaced, Mechanics, engineers, scientists, medical personnel are to be taken from active duty and removed to the Ark until this war is over. From now on, no one is allowed entrance into the Ark unless they are on special assignment and unless they are personally vetted by myself. There will be no exceptions. I am beginning to see, I'm afraid that our enemy has never been the freaks. They know not what they do. Mankind, in all his state of degradation and transgression, is our true enemy. Keep a watchful eye on your neighbors. Evil surrounds us. Company dismissed. How are you? Hey, Sergeant. Still breathing, I see. D. Corporal in command. Hey, Sarge. How's life? There you go. Okay, now that's more like it. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Corporal St. John. I'll see you Deacon, around, yeah? Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Sarge. Corporal St. John, Adik. See you around. <laughs>